Now, today's top stories in Power of Five weather from News 5, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. Good evening. Now here's a look at today's top stories. It's not just violent crimes on the streets that's been on the rise during the pandemic. The Ohio Domestic Violence Network says deadly incidents of domestic violence were up 20% from July of 2020 to July of 2021. That number is up 62% compared to two years prior. 131 people were killed in 90 domestic violence cases in Ohio in the last year. What we know from research is that following a, a natural disaster um, or following an economic downturn, violence against women increases. The pandemic, of course, is kind of a combination of both of those things, and it has been really prolonged. In a third of those cases, the suspect took their own life. In a quarter of those deadly incidents, the victim was in the process of ending or had just ended their relationship with the suspect. The Ohio Supreme Court has told a former online school that it has to pay up. ECOT was trying to appeal an offer from the Ohio Department of Education to repay $60 million in state funding after the board found it overstated its student count. The court's saying that the board's decision is final and can't be appealed. ECOT closed in 2018 and its assets were auctioned off. So according to the Columbus Dispatch, it's not known how Ohio will recoup that $60 million. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Happy Tuesday. Got I'm Tuesday. doing my little warm weather dance. My June feels like June. <laughs> it does. It dance. feels good. Yeah, scattered clouds overnight. Should be dry, a little fog here and there. 50s to near 60 to start our day. How about 79 tomorrow? One or two storms during the p.m. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.